Hi guys. Um, today I'm doing a video based on pretty much products that I love and products that I hate. Um, also kind of last minute gift ideas for Christmas or just mostly products I love and hate. Stuff I can't live without and stuff that I wish I didn't buy. So let's go ahead and just get started. Um, so the first thing in front of me, and these are in no particular order obviously, um, primers. There's, you know, there's face primers, there are, uh, there's eye primers, there's primers for, you know, uh, redness, there's primers for dark circles, and there's just tons of primers out there, um, and for a long time I stuck with, um, what is this, Fix and Perfect by Rimmel, um, in 001, it comes out a little bit orangey, um, in the tube, but it kind of dries on normal skin color. I liked it because it was a primer, but it wasn't, like, very thick and heavy. It was kind of like a soft primer, if that makes any sense. Like, almost like barely any primer, like, um, minimal coverage primer, I guess. And then I decided to try, um, L'Oreal's Studio Secrets Professional Sculpting, um, primer, like this. It comes in this little pot, um, and it's, like, pink inside. My lighting really sucks today, so sorry. Um which this is about, I think, twice the price of this. So, and this still is obviously one of the cheaper primers you can get. It's not like it's Chanel or something. These are all can be found in the drugstore. Um, pros and cons. This, I don't like the color. I like it when um, I don't need a lot of primer. This, I love the texture of it. Um, the color, doesn't, it's not pink when it goes on. It just blends seamlessly into the skin. It's thicker. Um, and it feels better, and I think this one has, doesn't say, but I think this one has, like, more of a gel-based, and this one's more like a liquid, whoa, this one's more of a gel-based, and this one's more of like a liquid-based primer, um, I like both of those, I can't really say I hate either one, um, this one I love when I'm using liquid foundation, I like to put this one underneath it, so anyways, the next thing I cannot live without that I think is an amazing thing is my airbrush system. Um, that is currently not working. Um, I'm going to do a video that's going to probably be up right after this one or maybe even before this one, I'm not sure, um, explaining how to use um, an airbrush system for foundation and stuff. But this is the one I have and it's Dynair. You might have seen this before, I'm not sure. Um, and I just absolutely love it. Now, as you can see here, this is kind of what it comes with when you first get the set. And I'll explain all these um, in my video in more depth. But these are all the makeup ones, and I'm pretty much out. And like I said, literally two seconds before, this package came in the mail of my foundation. So that is something I cannot live without. I totally recommend it. Um, I think it's an amazing product. It's worth the money. It is a little bit more pricey than it, pretty much anything else I own for makeup. Um, but I think it is well worth the money. Um, okay, so the next thing I actually cannot live without is the Falsies Mascara. I think it's an amazing product. It's totally worth, you know, the couple dollars it is. And I think it's better than a lot of high-end mascaras. Um, something I can live without that I do not think was worth any money is the Urban Decay Potion Primer. Um, I just... Primer, potion, whatever. I don't think that it is a good primer, to be honest. I think it kind of sucks. Um, and I think that it is way overpriced. This is obviously the travel one, but it's still the same as the other primer. Um, I don't think it's worth the money. I think there's better and cheaper primers for eyes. Now, my two favorite primers for eyes are the Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance, which looks like this. This is one of the ones I absolutely love. And another one that's even cheaper that I think works it's not the same, maybe better, is the, uh, what is this, Mary Kay Eye Primer. It looks like this. It comes out white, and it just is an amazing primer. It's a little bit thicker and heavier than the other primers, but a, but a little goes a long way, and this primer rocks. I totally recommend it to anybody, and it's one of the cheaper primers out there. Um, product that I absolutely hate, again, <laughs> go with that, I... Do not like the Revlon Color Stay Mineral Mousse like this. I think the mousse texture is one of the worst mousse ones out there. They have other ones like the Dream Matte Mousse, which is amazing. They have different mousse products out there that are really good. I'm not a huge mousse fan, but those I do like. 
this one, the texture stinks, the smell is horrible, the color selection is kind of crappy, and I liked the liquid version of the color stay. Um, I have two of those down there that are empty right now, but this mousse, gotta go. Wish I didn't waste my money on that. Um, something that I love and I can't live without is my Urban Decay Naked Palette. Um, originally I thought I would hate these palettes. I didn't want to buy them, or buy them, buy one. Um, I thought it was overpriced and kind of stupid and I really didn't want to get on the um, whole bandwagon for the Naked Palette. And I have a video, a um, couple of videos back explaining all of the Naked Palette and my cape in on that, but can't live without it now. It's a staple in my makeup tutorial. Uh, or makeup daily life, I guess I'd say. Another thing that um, I can't live without are my um, Studio Finish concealers, but lately I haven't been using these, to be honest. I've been using something that's really a lot cheaper and drugstore brand, which is, this is going to be Hard, Candy, Hard Candy's Nobody's Perfect Concealer Palette, um, and it has the green, yellow, pink, and then the three tones of actual skin tone concealer. This is in the 133 Fair Palette. Very cheap compared to MAC and a lot more creamy and less pigmented, but sometimes you don't need a lot of pigment. Sometimes your skin is not that bad or your under eye circles aren't that bad. And if you start applying really pigmented um, concealer, it's going to look cakey and gunky. Sometimes you don't need a lot. And when you don't need a lot, these this palette really goes a long way. It just makes it Perfect, I guess, um, would be the word I would say. Um, another thing I cannot live without is my um, Japanese brush clean cleanser, cleaner, whatever, and you can tell it's like pretty much almost gone, and I'm going to cry because I have to drive like 40 minutes to go where they sell this. Um, my ult is like 40 minutes away, but awesome brush cleaner. It's for spot cleaning, you know. You put on, like, say you put on dark eyeshadow with your brush, and you spot clean it, wipe it off, it's clean again, and you can use light shadow. Um, I love spot cleaning my brushes with the Japanese. It smells kind of citrusy and good, and it's just an awesome cleaner, and a lot cheaper than Max, I think. Actually, I don't think I know. Another product that I cannot live without, which for a while I did, I didn't like it when I first started using it, and then I realized I was just kind of using it wrong. Um, is the Stay Matte Rimmeled Pressed Powder. Um, this is in 001 Transparent, even though it has a color to it. Um, for a while, I didn't like it because I really didn't have much of an oily skin and it would make me look really, really cakey. Um, now I only use this after, like, my, um, because in the winter, for some reason, I'm getting oily now. Weird. You'd think I get dry, but I got oily. Um, so after a while, couple hours my um, Dynair foundation, the airbrush, kind of starts to seep a little bit of um, oil or shine through and I will literally just use a certain brush and I'll explain this all in my um, airbrush tutorial. Pop this on, you can't see it, it doesn't make me look cakey or anything like that and it's actually really good at making your skin stay matte after that. So, love that product. Um, a product that I could live without that I absolutely don't like. A product that I absolutely don't like it kind of pairs with a product that I absolutely love. Um, I use, I'm all about eyeliner pretty much every day of my life. I have to wear eyeliner. Um, I just, it's like my thing, I guess. And I always bought the Stila Smudge Pots. This one's in um, black. And I bought this about a month and a half ago, a new one, and it is completely dried up and you cannot use it. It literally is disgusting. And I bought two of these before because that's all I used to use was the Stila Smudge Pots. Um, and there's so much product in here, I mean, you get, what is it, you get 0.14 ounces for like 4 grams, a lot of product, dry out so fast, you can't use it, and then you, you know, then you're stuck with like me, like more than a half of a palette of, um, eyeliner, and it is dried out, and you can't use it, so I was like, I'm using, these are like 20, 25 dollars too, and I was like, that's kind of a waste of my money, I'm spending this, and it's drying out, and I have to buy a new one. So I went to my drugstore and I found this, and this is from Physicians Formula, and this is a trio of eyeshadows, and this one's obviously for the blue eyes, they have them for every other, you know, every color eyes, hazel, green, brown, whatever. Um, I got the blue eyed one, because I have blue eyes, but these are amazing. For about half the price of the Steel Smudge Pot, you get three different colors, and they're smaller little, um, they're smaller 
amounts, obviously. You know, completely different size. But you're going to use this before it dries out. And like I said, you have so you have three colors. Like this one's a royal blue, which is beautiful. Um, and then I have a um, brown and a black. Classic colors, small size, cheaper, just amazing. This product, I could live without. I don't need to purchase this again. I wasted my money once, twice, three times, and never again. I'm stuck on Physicians Formula for that. Um, another thing that I can't live without is actually a very cheap brush. This is my Lowe's Cornell brush, which um, is a big shader brush, which you guys have probably seen in pretty much every single one of my tutorials. And it cost me like a dollar or two dollars, something like that. If you go to like Michael's or any kind of craft store, you can find like paint brushes that are exactly as the same as like a Mac brush. All you're paying for is the name from that brush. Um, like this is better, like it holds up better in cleaning because it's a paint brush um, and a lot cheaper and it's the perfect size to do the whole lid, to blend, um, and you can find so many different types of paintbrushes for a couple dollars when you can, you know, rather than spend like 25 for a tiny MAC brush, and I do admit I do have a bunch of, not a bunch, I have a few MAC brushes because I like those brushes, but I'm the first to tell you, go and try to find the brush that you're looking for, a dupe in the craft store, it's so worth my money and a product I cannot live without. I use it every single day. A product that I can't live without also um, is the uh, Fit Me Maybelline Liquid Foundation. Um, when I don't use my Dynair, uh, my airbrush, I use that because it's gel-based. It works perfectly well with a gel-based primer. Um, just really, 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 really good. Um, so pretty much that's it. There's, I'm sure there's products that I hate and products that I love in here that I just can't think of right now. Um, but yeah, these are the products that came to mind when I was thinking about what I, like, must have and things I wish I never bought and things I hate. Um, and hate's a strong word, but things I would definitely not purchase again, let's put it that way. Um, so yeah, these are also like, you know, last minute gift ideas. A lot of these you can be found at your local drugstore. Um, so, you know, the night before Christmas and you realize that you forgot for something for the stocking or whatever. A couple dollars and you have a great gift. So that's kind of why I'm putting this up before Christmas as opposed to like later on in the year. Kind of a gift idea slash my review on a bunch of products. So yeah, um, next up is going to be an airbrush foundation tutorial if I haven't already posted it up already. Um, and then there's going to be some more Dark Hunter tutorials coming up, and um, a couple of celebrity looks coming up too. So um, please subscribe, send me comments, requests, um, rate my videos, and I will see you guys all very soon. Bye.